Optical imaging is a fundamental tool in biomedicine. Everybody has seen a biological lab with a microscope. Diagnosis is based on microscopy, looking at little slides. Um, but this is only uh, a small part of what's possible with optics. And what we're doing is we're bringing the next level in optical imaging by allowing observations in vivo from humans, from animals, and observations that they can go much deeper than microscopy. So we can see entire tissues with light. Um, and that can significantly improve um, our ability to possibly diagnose disease or understand treatment and so on. Uh, a dimension that optical imaging brings is that um, it can enable observations of biology. So most of these diseases, also neurodegenerative diseases, have a molecular basis. Typically, imaging methods now in radiology, they look at anatomical features. For example, you break a bone and then you see an X-ray the break, but you don't see molecules. Also in MRI and other methods. Nuclear medicine brings imaging of molecules and optical also brings imaging of molecules to the um, let's say clinical and biological arena. So the idea here is not only to use light, but use it to see molecules and tissues, not anatomical features. And that is how you can see both molecular diseases and their evolution, but also drugs and how they act. When you're looking into brain or into other diseases, mm -hmm. um, you are seeing different types of contrast than other imaging methods of light. So for example, you can see uh, label substances, substances you have labeled, or you can see blood, hemodynamics. No other imaging method can see um, the oxygenated, deoxygenated forms of blood. It's only light that can do that. That's also why in hospitals we have this little light oximeter in the finger, this little dippy light. So um, altogether, light brings different contrast mechanisms that they are associated and give new information about disease. You have innovation to help mankind, but the real way to help mankind is to go through commercialization process which will disseminate the technology eventually to mankind. So you cannot just keep it in your university only for uh, your own glory. You have to, to get it out there and benefit people at the end of the day. Very successful conference. I was very positive surprised because it brings together, it brought together um, uh, very key scientists with uh, leading discoveries and leading technologies in the field. And it was a, a very nice interaction. We had a beautiful exchange. Uh, I learned a lot, and so I enjoyed this very much.